All right, you guys, let's jump into another article here. We're gonna be reading about toothpaste and the eight harmful ingredients that is inside the average toothpaste. So let's jump into it. Number one, harsh foaming detergent. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a harsh detergent that can be even found as the active ingredient in garage floor and stove top cleaners. These harsh detergents kill beneficial bacteria that protect you from cavities and break down the protective lining in your mouth that leaves you open to canker sores. Number two, flavoring, mint. For years, it was almost impossible to find a toothpaste that wasn't mint. Studies show mint is an active way to drop testosterone and women with high testosterone are even encouraged to drink mint tea to help decrease the tea levels. While this effect is good for women, we men need the opposite. We need high testosterone levels to maintain muscle mass, keep off fat, stay hard in the bedroom, and keep our mental health in check. Number three, antimicrobial tea tree oil. If you own natural toothpaste and go check the label right now, there's a good chance it will contain tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has been a staple in natural toothpaste brands for some time for its antibacterial qualities, but does natural mean safe? While Mayo Clinic says it is generally safe for use on the skin, they don't say the same for oral care. Avoid oral use of tea tree oil, which is toxic when swallowed, according to Mayo Clinic. Not only that, but other studies link tea tree and lavender oil to the development of breast tissue in boys. It does this by hindering the production of testosterone. Number four, chemical disinfected dash triclosan. Triclosan was once used in many toothpastes and mouthwashes for its antibacterial and antifungal properties, but scientific evidence shows it is a potent toxin, endocrine disruptor, and is even an environmental concern for groundwater contamination. When concerns of its health effects started appearing, big toothpaste brands shrugged it off, claiming there wasn't enough evidence to make them remove it. But now the evidence is so overwhelming, they are finally caving to the pressure and removing it from their product lines. This goes to show that while innocent until proven guilty is an important law for people, it doesn't always work out for ingredients we consume. Number five white coloring agent, titanium dioxide. Here's a good example of an ingredient brand's use to promote experience at the expense of health. Titanium dioxide is used to give toothpaste its chalky white color, but has no other oral benefits. However, it does include its list of risks. Titanium dioxide consists of nanoparticles that may harm your cells and build up in the environment. Studies link the effects of these particles to cell damage, genotoxicity, inflammation, and adverse immune response. Early studies have also shown titanium dioxide nanoparticle exposure to cause testicular damage, decrease testosterone, and lower sperm quantity and mobility. Number six, cheap toothpaste tubes, BPA phthalates. The hormone danger of BPA and phthalates have been getting way more attention in recent years but it hasn't stopped big brands from using them. BPA and phthalates act as estrogen in the body, decrease testosterone production, lower libido, energy, cognitive function, impair sexual development, reduce semen quality. Big brands use cheap plastic tubes 
that leach BPA and phthalates into the toothpaste because it saves them cost on their bottom line. The fact that these chemicals wreak havoc on your hormones and manhood doesn't seem to bother them. Number seven, thickener. Here is another example that just because a toothpaste uses natural ingredients, it may not be the best for your health. <clears throat> Carrageenan is a common thickener used in toothpaste, especially natural ones. On the surface, you would think it is safe, given that it is derived from seaweed. But that turns out not to be the case. A clinical study from the University of Iowa showed with prolonged usage, it led to colon tumors along with the fact that it does nothing to benefit oral health. It just isn't a necessary risk. Number eight, last but not least, natural whitener, charcoal. The problem is it's a harsh abrasive and is something you have to be careful with, especially if you are an aggressive brusher. Enamel is the hard outer coating of your teeth that protects them. If you strip it off, enamel doesn't grow back and can cause major problems for your teeth and extreme sensitivity issues. So as you can see, this is an all out assault on male vitality. That's why the products are named in battle terminologies like war horse or hence sword vitality. You're at war, okay? So you need to strap up bunker down, get all your artillery in line. That's why we provide real products for real men who are after superior vitality with real results. No gimmicks, no games. Stay on point, be very careful what you consume, make sure you stock up on quality herbs, quality food, and quality ingredients in everything that you use. Lotions, toothpaste, hair products, make it have some type of quality and benefit not just name brands, not just what's cheap and affordable. Spend that extra dollar or two to get real quality stuff. So go online to MrEarthRose.com right now. All men should have aphrodisiacs. Check it out.